Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Mohab, Product Manager here at the Cobar Robotic Testing Team. And today I'm going to walk you through how Selenium compares to Cobar Robotic Testing. Let's get started. Let's first discuss some of the challenges that are associated with Selenium based test automation today. Selenium is an open source technology, but it will require you and your team to set up and maintain all the infrastructure that is required in order to run Selenium tests. This initial ramp up time can come to a detriment of your team's ability to get value from test automation fast. Then second of all, we need to take into account that Selenium scripting is a quite technical challenge. So you won't be able to include your business folks in the process of creating Selenium based test automation. But most importantly, Selenium tests are quite brittle and you will spend a lot of time maintaining those scripts. How does Kubar Robotic Testing solve those challenges? Well, first of all, we are completely cloud based. So you will experience super fast time to value. Basically you can get going within minutes. There is no setup or installation requirement on your end. It's also super easy to create new test automation with Kubata Robotic Testing. We now know that for successful test automation, we need to have multiple different user personas involved. That means your test automation engineers, your manual testers, your business personas, and all of those folks coming together, working to create successful test automation. And we offer unique opportunities for all of these user personas to work together. We have an intuitive, natural language based approach to test automation. And we have a flow editor that lets you visually see the test script that you are building, as well as our strong visual recorder, which records reusable keywords. On top of that, maintenance is also super easy with Kubar Robotic Testing. We recognized text on the screen instead of focusing on XPath based locators or any other cumbersome locator strategy. And we feature self healing powered by AI. But now let's actually jump into a demo where I'm going to show you how Kubar Robotic Testing stacks up against Selenium. And we can also have a look at a Selenium test script versus the same script in CRT. And you can draw your conclusions from there. We are in Kobato Robotic Testing. I have already created a test suite for us. And just a reminder, Kobato Robotic Testing is fully cloud native. So you don't need any setup or ramp up time in order to get to where I am here. This is the test suite dashboard. And you can see that we have options of executing those tests as well as scheduling them, adding test data and doing a lot more. But today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a Salesforce test case with Kubar Robotic Testing. Later on, we'll take a look at how the same exact test case would look like when done with Selenium. So I'm actually really excited about this. So let's go ahead and click create test here and let's provide a test case name. So what we are actually going to be doing is creating an account in Salesforce. So I'm going to give it a descriptive name and also pick a file location over here. And here we are. Now you can see this is currently running in our flow mode, but we can also take a look at the script mode later on. So I'm being presented with a blank canvas now, and this is when I can get started with testing the account creation. So let me actually pick the app state keyword here and just drag it onto the flow. And I can give it an argument of home because we want to ensure that our system under test in this case Salesforce is ready to start testing. So I'm going to hit live testing now, which is our way of giving you instant feedback of the test cases you have created, as well as allowing you a bunch of other cool features like recording. So you can see that on the right hand side, we have a browser window, which basically executed our test case already. And we can see that we are in the Salesforce system. The next step would be that we want to 
launch an application sales, right? We want to create a new account. So let's search for the launch app keyword and let's pull it onto the, onto the flow here and let's give it sales application. And let's run this test step immediately just to make sure it's working as expected. Here we are. We are now in the sales app. And what I'll do next is I'm actually going to use the recorder. So I can click on record test here. And now our smart visual recorder will basically remember all the input that I did on the system under test and it will translate it into our reusable keywords. So what I can go ahead and do now is I can specify a test account. I can add my phone number here. And um, let's maybe also give it a type. So let's give it a type of prospect and an industry of consulting. And let's save. All right. We can actually now go ahead and exit the recorder and you can see that we have created a fully readable, fully functional test case from my input. Uh, it's very important to also validate what we did here. So I'm going to use the verify text keyword um, in order to make sure that the input already matches the expected outcome. So in order to do that, let's make sure that test account is actually visible and let's execute this right away. And you see highlights already there. So that's perfect. Now, let me actually show you this in the script mode as well. Uh, it will allow us to nicely compare to the actual Selenium script. So if I switch to the script mode, the views will be syncing and this is what our test case looks like. Pretty neat, I would say, and pretty simple. I can always go back to flow mode. And in case some of my colleagues prefer looking at the test case in flow mode, and I prefer doing that in script mode, that's also fine. You can still collaborate on this particular test case. Now let me pop up my Visual Studio code, and you will actually see the same interaction that we now did in what a handful of keywords in Kobara robotic testing and compare that to what it takes for a Selenium test to cover the same scenario. Here is my Visual Studio Code instance and already at the first glance, I can see that this is a lot, right? I mean, we are, we are already doing kind of importing there. We are initializing the driver, navigating to the login page it's actually a lot. And this is where it gets even worse because now we are relying on different element location strategies in order to find these elements. So if, if for example, here we are using XPath to find the element, the account name, for example, and then we are sending the keys. And you can see this drag throughout the whole script. Now imagine a scenario where Salesforce is updating multiple times a year and they are actually changing their DOM structure. Now you need to go ahead and maintain and adapt all of your existing test scripts in order to keep them fully functional. And that's really where the power of Kobara robotic testing comes in. You will be much faster in creation and also maintenance of those test scripts. I really hope that you enjoyed this demo and got some value from it. Thank you.